Hi, my friends. Let's model the part number 84 sprayer cap from my collection of 100 parts. The picture of this object is here. As you can see, there are some uh, revolution uh, features, holes, and an arrow here. Uh, let's see the drawing. There are some dimensions, but nothing is uh, complicated. We can uh, make it relatively easily. Let's start. the plane XY and we uh, draw the contour of this main body yes which is uh, uh, 78 with 32 height of 69 and a chamfer of 4 at 45. Okay. Line. With a contour as possible as proportional. And we close it as a center line, like this. This dimension is 69. So we expect to scale it with the center of the omotety of this point, always. We move all down because we want to uh, have nine millimeters here, nine. And of course, this is on the center point. Dimensions are 28. Four and also four diameter of uh, seventy eight diameter of thirty two forty four. and 20 here 20 okay finish sketch revolve okay 20 is here and 44 is this diameter okay now we draw this contour with the placement of 45 and length of 32 32 diameter and uh, a chamfer of 2 on 30 degrees the plane is also this XY home F7 and we draw lines from this point up 
to this point and again a closing line but to be horizontal and to be center line dimensions are 22 2 millimeters and 30 degrees diameter of 32 distance of 54 and distance of uh, 32 good we apply revolve again okay you can see here um, machining at that external diameter to cut this uh, connection between the two features the diameter is 44 you see here 44 and uh, the altitude is uh, 9 from the center point here is the center point somewhere here 9 is coming here 9 okay we create an extrusion why not extrusion F7 from this center point we draw a circle finish sketch extrude what to extrude all all this as cut the other direction full okay now we have that cut here good let's create the other revolving this one which is uh, placed at uh, 34 from the base a plane placed of 54 this plane would be very good because we uh, create an extrusion very easy this work plane 54 okay circle a simple circle on the same vertical 32 placed on the same vertical but look here vertical is horizontal yes because it is that uh, unbearable plane as I said, the center is placed at 34. Okay. This problem with the horizontal vertical is uh, uh, for me a subject to uh, send uh, an idea to Autodesk in order to change something look here I draw a line yes and this unbearable plane line this is a horizontal line yes and you see that this is vertical 
I propose and I hope to have your approval, yes? I suggest them to change this thing. A good. We continue by applying extrude to the part. Okay. Visibility. Now we have a lot of holes and uh, revolutions here. I'll adopt another strategy. Yes, I'll create a hole with thread. Yes, this is uh, uh, gas 3 eighth inch with a depth of 22 and uh, a diameter of this clearance of 17. I create a hole from this face to 22 by using uh, these dimensions and I apply them uh, the same procedure here with also 22 and so on. And after create, creating the uh, holes, I place the um, clearance. Yes, and uh, the other holes are also created as holes. You see, we don't have here uh, an angle placed here. Why? Because this is the angle of the drill, 118 degrees. Here the same. Instead here, we don't have a large end of the, the drill. So I'll use the flat end for the and for this hole of uh, uh, 64 or this one. Here uh, is possible to uh, exist that uh, angled uh, end, but I also use flat end. Let's try. Hole this face this and this center threaded uh, ESO pipe threads and the diameter I suppose this is 3 eighths yes this is if not you can uh, study the situation and to find the proper dimension <coughs> this is on a distance full depth and the distance is 22 okay for this hole plus the other one which is identical this face this uh, center and all the data are there plus this face this center and uh, the uh, thread is now metric with a diameter of 30 and the pitch of 1.5 which is not normal normal is 3.5 1.5 and uh, the depth is uh, I'm looking to the other monitor where is the drawing eight eight good with a flat end this time plus the other you see the uh, thread the other 64 um, thread 64 this is 64 no this is 65 64 with a pitch of 1.5 and a depth of 9 
and depth of 9 flat end yes this is flat this is angle okay all the four are finished we can uh, take a view by creating a sketch and applying F7 yes this is ended as a normal uh, hole and this is flat this too now there is another hole here with a normal end continued with a small diameter hole and here the same and here the same let's apply all the holes as holes not as revolution this is 15 with a depth of 42 from this face 15 uh, this continue with 6 this is also 6 ending here this is also, also 6 and ends here let's apply not finished sketch but uh, control Z hole from this face this is uh, the face from which we matter, measure the depth of uh, 42 yes this contour no thread simple hole this kind of uh, end diameter of 15 tab and the depth of 42 plus through of uh, diameter 6 where this face this center you see the hole here yes plus also 6 on this face this center but 2 to what to this uh, hole yes plus also 6 on this face this center ending somewhere here but it is not very sure so I uh, end it to a plane to this plane yes mid plane you see the hole is uh, finished in two uh, ends okay f6 now revolutions we come back to our sketch and create a clearance here I project this geometry to have an end and I draw a rectangle starting from the midpoint to somewhere here the horizontal dimension is 2 the vertical needs a preparation to change this line in a center line and to apply a diameter of 17 I create the same rectangle here in the same procedure I project this line I draw a rectangle starting from the middle with the uh, thickness of 2 and this diameter of 17 but preparing the axis to be center line 17 
finish sketch. Now I have two axes, so I uh, must uh, create uh, a revolution in succession. You will see. Revolve this profile and this axis, not the other, with cut. Okay. Now the sketch is consumed. Yes, I cannot use it here, but I can share the sketch by applying share sketch. You see the mark here and here of sharing. And now I have access to this uh, other uh, profile. This is the profile axis is this yes the uh, section is also here but I don't use it cut okay I don't need it to be visible anymore so I close now we have revolution this and and this and both at one time yes let's uh, you have these uh, dimensions in the drawing and i have them on my other uh, monitor so i don't enumerate them the sketch is placed in the plane x y and i draw some uh, lines the first is up with uh, clearance angle and another uh, cylindrical section I make this as a center line I make this uh, collinear with this I place the dimension of the clearance of uh, 2.5, 2.5, and the diameter of the thread, which is 30. Yes, the major diameter of this um, thread is 30, but I forgot to. Uh, make coincident the line with the center point now you see this is the main minor diameter of the uh, thread and this is the major one what is the distance between them when the pitch is uh, 1.5 let's see what is uh, this distance 0 0.8 I don't create this because I have uh, dimensions applied cancel but it's interesting to know good 90 is this angle so I divide it by 2 other dimensions are this diameter of uh, 18 and uh, from up no from bottom of this uh, sloped line to the top is 12 
12. Good. And this is dimension 2.5. So I don't know where is 2.5. This is two. Oh, I made a, a mistake. This is two, and this is two point five. Okay, the upper profile is done. Let's go to the bottom one. I project this line. And I create another sketch from the center to uh, clearance, two steps here, a sloped line, and a horizontal one, and go back to the start. Let me not forget to place this on the center point yes with coincidence this point and to make it construction line not construction center line good this is the diameter of the thread yes I'll place it here 64 the major diameter of this uh, thread collinear this with this and two millimeters the uh, width of uh, the clearance okay nine millimeters is here but it was used this dimension when I create the uh, thread yes this diameter is uh, 55 this one oh is not vertical I go here and I apply vertical to this segment okay and this is must be horizontal now is okay good this diameter is uh, 55 no this is 55 and this is 60 no problem another diameter is this one of uh, 32 another one is this and it seems to be the last one 22 depths this is placed at 14.5 the other one at 21 and this is 0 0.7 upper 0 0.7 okay we have two profiles and only one axis but being segmented in two we have to select uh, one I don't go out with finished sketch but I use R from red to invoke this uh, dialog box I select profiles this is one this is the other okay 
okay clearance everything is here and also here good axis either one cut okay now we have all the work done the next is the last this small hole of three placed at 23 from the axis oh no the last is the arrow wait for it I select this plane I place a point somewhere in the air not on any line or circle then I make it horizontal and I place dimension of 23 23 finish sketch hole it was selected automatic three millimeters and two to this yes you see it comes from the bottom to up okay the other the last hole is done good now the the arrow the arrow is placed somehow to have all the edges parallel and perpendicular on this plane yes this plane here so I select that plane to be the one where I place the sketch the plane is placed at 41 distance from the center let's create this plane plane from the XY axis at 41 good now we create the arrow dimensions are in the drawing <coughs> I draw here because it is uh, more visible good we draw a line from the end to this point and we extend that line to be in connection this is a line for for mirroring mirror all these entities about this axis dimensions dimensions are uh, 12 and of course it uh, uh, is moved to the center point as a rule this is four this point with this is also 12 but this was applied because they were uh, on the same line four 
the angle is 90 it is also applied by fortune then we have a total length of 42 42 with uh, this of 12 okay and also 90 degrees here but it they are parallel and it is not necessary the center of this is placed at 9 millimeters from at 10 millimeters from the bottom and there is another dimension from the this point to the center point which is 21 that's all finish sketch extrude to the part or to next now we see that uh, this is not curved we have to create an arrow which is placed in a cylindrical fashion so I create a new sketch in the same beautiful and nice plane F7 where I project geometry this line and this line to place a rectangle from this point to here why to apply a distance of 41 and I apply collinear not dimension collinear of these two and these two respectively why to have fully constant here I don't draw a rectangle like this to be not determined and now I apply a revolve of this contour about the y axis select axis is this axis and cut okay now is okay let's go to the chamfers one at 45 one one inside one one also one this is the only of other value and this was placed like also this one good I select one of them this one chamfer one and apply to many places and here plus this edge of 1.5 okay next are fillets you see radius 3 radius 3 radius 3 radius 3 also everywhere everywhere is 3 yes let's apply this for instance this is 3 3 
here is another three yes three all of them this one this the other side all over is three and also here and also inside everything is with radius 3 between these uh, volumes okay this means that we finished our object Material is still cast. General aspect is still cast. You know now all these procedures, our procedures. If somewhere you think to be also applied. Uh, you are free to apply that's all still polished I properties for this part are here update one kilo and 200 grams that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.